Hey there guys, what's up? What's going on? It's on Hobot Mikey team here in I don't know where the hell I am, guys. No, I'm kidding. I know where I am. Guys, I'm in a completely different environment. Um, I have filmed one video in this spot uh, last year, as a matter of fact. Um, but anyway, guys, as um, I have revealed in one of my uh, most recent videos, I am uh, away right now on uh, vacation. And, of course, the same week I was away, San Diego Comic-Con was happening. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's that was just unfortunate scheduling. But, um, yeah, San Diego Comic-Con happened. Got a lot of big announcements. Right now, guys, by the time this video goes up, this is going to go up like four days after filming. Uh, but it's July 12th right now. It's like 1 in the morning, and I am outside of my hotel room. I'm away on vacation with my family. Uh, this is my last day here, um, technically, and I am on the balcony of my hotel room filming this reaction video. So yeah, a little bit of a special surrounding for you guys, a um, little different environment for you. But um, I was going to wait till I got home to shoot this video. Uh, then I told myself, no, I, 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 I want to watch, do, do these reactions now and give these reviews to you guys now. I, I, I didn't feel like waiting. So I said, no, I'm going to just do it here, on here. Why not? Anyway, guys, with that said, want to get right into it. Don't want to make this too long. Um, the uh, trailer that I'm going to be doing a reaction for in this video is for The Walking Dead Season 6. They revealed the official uh, SDCC trailer this past Friday, I believe it was, and they also released the Fear the Walking Dead trailer on the same day. Now I'm going to review and uh, react to Season 6 trailer, um, and I'm just going to review it and give my quick thoughts based on what I watched for the first time, you know, and that's it. And then I might do a Fear the Walking Dead reaction, I don't know yet, I'm not sure, I don't know if it's important. And then today, Saturday, the Batman v Superman trailer dropped. Haven't seen that yet either, so I would like to do a reaction to that as well. And I heard the Suicide Squid uh, footage dropped, so I'd like to go online and look for that somehow as well. I don't know. So i got to catch up on all this. Anyway, guys, uh, with that said, let's jump right into my reaction. I got the trailer open. I got it in 720p HD. That's good enough for me. I got... This was not... Uh, um, planned. I, I kid you not. I'm wearing a Walking Dead shirt. Don't get bit. <laughs> I kid. I did not know I was going to be wearing this the same day I'm watching the trailer. Anyway, let's do this, guys. Season six trailer. Let's play. We both started out in the same place. Please. You can't come back from this. I know you can. Good people. They always die. I'm a killer, right? Yes. Listen. We'll make this work. Keep this place safe. Keep our family safe. So we're all supposed to just fall in line behind you. We're doing this now! We're not ready now! Charge. She's in charge. She's in charge now. When I was a child, I heard the voice. The world isn't what you call it, Warren. You don't know where you are anymore. 
they do to Daryl man is on the show. Okay, um fuck, I gotta watch that again. <laughs> How long are we seven minutes in? Okay. I I I gotta bleh, I gotta skim through it. Oh my god, so many things to talk about. Um Okay. I'll skim through it in a second. First off Right off the bat, as soon as I started to hear the song playing, they always pick literally the best song for these trailers. Always. All of these trailers for The Walking Dead. Season 3 had a great song in the trailer. Season 4, I don't know what this is. It's great. <laughs> okay, just, just, just right off the bat. Um, Alright, pretty interesting trailer. I absolutely hate when I'm trying to watch these things and react for the first time, and they just have multiple rapid fire quick cuts and then just cut 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 and just like a multitude of shots showing characters getting into trouble or setting up problems or whatever the uh, okay let's get into the the standouts of the trailer and i think basically they're setting up this season as the aftermath of last season it's time for things to change at alexandria um, Rick is now going to take over. He's going to show these people what needs to be done after he took charge in the uh, season finale when he killed Rick and Pete. But the only problem with that was the arrival of Morgan. Who knows that Rick, you know, knows that other side of Rick when they first met. And um, it's really interesting to see that half of Alexandria now feels Rick's efforts are not getting them anywhere or not that they're not getting them anywhere it's leading to the deaths of a lot of people and the, the it looks like the body counts rising that's what the trailer is is saying to me that's what i'm getting from it and as a result nobody is in 100 percent trust of rick at this point uh, or there are some people that are not in trust of rick um, and then it looks like Morgan steps in and he's like, you know what, let me, you know, maybe I could talk to him. Maybe I can, you know, um, take over a couple things here. Take, you know, take control of a couple things. Now, I don't think the way it's edited together, it looks like, um, what's her name? Deanna is talking to Morgan and telling, or, or talking about Mo uh, Morgan, um, saying that he can lead them because you have shots of her talking about, um, someone, and then you have you cut to Morgan. So that'll make us assume she's talking about Morgan, but she could be talking about Rick. Cause you know what? After the season finale, she really trusted Rick. She's like Rick. 
do it. You know, I, I think that her and Rick are going to be very close this season, for the first half of the season anyway. But maybe, I don't know, maybe something's going to happen. Maybe a lot of people are going to die, and it's going to cause her to maybe sway to Morgan and maybe try to act, get him to get Rick to uh, act differently or, you know, stop Rick from trying to take over this group. And then it, it's interesting to see that Rick's, like, just, like, on his own at this point, you know. Not on his own, but just people are not. They're just like, no, we don't want, we don't want Rick. And it's just, it puts a giant target on his back. And just to see that first opening running shot, man. First off, great camera work. Great, like, there were a lot of really handheld uh, not shaky cam, but really good handheld shots in the trailer that I thought were really exciting. Good people, they always die. I'm a killer, Rick. And you are too. Rick, 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 Rick. I, I gotta, I gotta rewatch a couple scenes. But it is, first off, it is so. I've been inside from the start. They haven't had to survive. Give me a second. They just don't get it. It is so great to see Morgan back in the action. I, I love it. I can't. I don't take chances anymore. And you shouldn't. Morgan is like, he's like a different guy at this point. Listen. We'll make this work. This place safe. Help us! Keep our family safe. Looks like that he's gonna bring them out into the world because they've been just trapped inside. They're gonna start killing zombies, and obviously people are gonna die. So we're all supposed to just fall in line behind you. We're doing this now. We're not ready now. That's the thing. That perfectly sums up what I think the first half of the season is going to be about. These people just aren't ready for it. Rick is going to do his best to get them into shape, get them to be how they should, but they're just not ready for this kind of stuff. And the other thing that I um, just quickly want to bring up, I did not see anything or any shots of the wolves in the trailer, so I don't know what is going on there. I am getting, if I had to complain about any negatives of the trailer, I'll say this. I feel the way the trailer is structured, it makes it feel like these seasons are just going repetitive beat after repetitive beat. Because in season four, you know, new windows were opened with Rick and the prison group. And they get infected, they lose a lot of members, they have to start burying bodies. And, you know, all sad and Trump, whatever. Season five, season six is rolling around. It looks like the same exact thing is happening. So that feels as for a series whole, it feels like a repetitive beat. Same thing. Same goes with the beginning of season three, and this is the first half of season six that they're showing us. Obviously, um, so that, that feels like a like a, like a big repetitive beat for me. And I know that, that you can't really help it because it's a show about the zombie apocalypse. But what are you gonna do? Anyway, guys, I'm gonna cut the video soon. Just wanna. Skim through a couple more. It looks like Deanna's tight with Rick. It does. Oh my god, I love how Morgan said that. Oh, it's so tragic because of their relationship that they had. But at the same time, it's freaking awesome. Carol, this trailer needed more Carol being badass. I love the song. Ah oh, man, he might turn her away from Rick. Jesse's obviously with Rick, of course. Oh, there must be a breach. Someone, someone gets into Alexandria. It could be the wolves or, or walkers. I think she's talking about Rick. I do. Yeah, she's talking about Rick.
I'm so glad he's on this. Wait, was that a shot from season five? No. Okay. Oh, what is going on with Rick and the walkie-talkie and then him running? Oh man. Nicholas. Oh, they should have offed him last season. Might be talking to one of the wolves. Or, I don't think he's talking to Morgan. I don't think he's talking to Morgan. You gotta, like... They, that did not match eyeline. That's... No. I don't know who he's talking to, but... I don't think it's Morgan. Uh, who, who got bit? Someone got bit. Who's who's being laid on that table? Oh, I couldn't see it. it looked like Rick. I don't know. Glenn. Oh, what was that shot where they were falling in a mountain? love that shot where they're on the mountain and like zombies are falling off it. Oh, that's crazy. And the whole Daryl thing at the end, that's cool, but we've seen Daryl do that a billion times. I mean, how many more badass moments do we need of Daryl? Anyway, that's it, guys. Those are my thoughts on the trailer. Pretty intriguing overall. Um, I, I think the point in this trailer, I like how they're not giving too much away, number one. Number two, I think they did a good job of really setting up where they're going with this season with with the trailer although they may have they may be trying to throw us off with who's really talking who <laughs> essentially so guys what did you think of the season six trailer i liked it i don't know if i liked it more than season five maybe the trailer i mean um probably probably not i'm not sure anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll get this video up as soon as i can when i get back home and leave me your thoughts down below on the trailer for season six what do you predict is going to happen uh uh, discuss the trailer down below guys and I'll answer you. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye